I feel like a lot of great stories actually start in the middle. You know, like Star Wars and I. Yeah, that's that's a bad example. The point is, this is me on the way back from the studio, and it's kind of feeling do or die. But at the same time, I keep hearing from friends and family, like, be careful, be careful, you don't want to burn out. This shit could, like, you know, it's like, yeah. I know. So I know I said start in the middle, but we actually have to take it back a little bit. Not all the way back, but just about here. Uh, Before work. You had a nigga thinking that I'm gonna cop the rock. I mean, I even brought your name up at the barbershop. Uh, you had a nigga thinking that I'm gonna cop the rock. I mean, I even brought your name up at the barbershop. You know, I never really been the type to talk a lot. I'd rather get to it. Just do it. I'm so tired, man. One thing I had to realize is like there's diminishing returns on takes man like after a certain point you're not getting better with each one you're just burning yourself out mm. One more try They Tarzan and Jane All right fuck it let's come back to that Why was I so tired It wasn't even that I was doing too much I was just doing too much for too many people You know what I mean I was working this dead end job uh. Working in the bedroom, I think we got corona. You already know that part. But I was also trying to find a better one, and at the same time, working on commercial sets and trying to get shit popping with heavy rotation, which is an amazing concept, but that shit was draining me. Like, look at the behind the scenes, bro. This shit was work. It's negative 70, 11 degrees in this video. Met some great artists, though. You had them big guns straight out of magazines. You can make me forget my reality. Where the fuck you hiding? Label. Yo, did I tell you guys I worked for a label this year? And they came to me. My honey's like that Chevy Blue ain't dope, dope. Fash got me affiliated. I'm trippy. It's just crazy. You have these artists doing songs with Meek Mill and shit like that. And the label's coming to 20 something year olds working at Old Navy to run the back end marketing wise. Which makes you just realize like nobody really knows what the fuck is going on anymore options and it's just like the money's going down the drain but if you use the website the facebook business manager you can target stories you can target people okay. like you can do all this it gives you way more power yeah okay good to know yeah. okay then i'll that's what i'll do that's what i'll do i don't know if i'm there yet bro you are so you I can't you can't I, even question that yeah because you have good music so it's like you can't even question well i know that, that yeah, i'm trying to figure this out i'm trying to figure this shit out it's, it's so complicated it's insane bro like i literally because again we're not talking about large numbers here. We're talking about a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. If you put like five thousand dollars, I can't even fucking imagine. I put five hundred dollars. I was in. gonna drop a grand onto this commercial. Bro, that'd be golden. I got people in Brazil, like I'm not kidding, who are like diehard fans. People in Germany who like literally check in on me like every week and like, yo man, you like. I had one kid in Australia literally tell me like I helped him stop from committing suicide. That's like, such a weird... I have like, a question. It's Hearing crazy. that, it, do you believe that? or is I, how No, does, he was dead ass, and we stay in communication. And he was dead serious. He didn't just hit me up out of the blue. Like, that's this such is like a strange a, thing. Like a 14-year-old kid who, like, my music actually helped him. Yeah, damn. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there's 7 ads. billion people out there, bro. Like, it give your music to them. I feel like ads kind of create an equalizer where you realize that, like, music... Just, like, especially when you divorce it from, like, all the things that it means in your interpersonal relationships and you just make it music and then show it to, like, the thousands of people that Instagram lets you, you realize that it's, like, it's really, it can be really powerful. It's you know, insane. To someone who doesn't know you, where all you are to them is just the image the that you image. have as an artist. Yes. 
then you so realize wait. like how powerful that shit can actually be. You know what I mean? I know, like, I agree. Mm. All of this shit is perception, man. <laughs> I didn't even want to get too deep on this episode. I kept it light, you know? There's so much more I want to share, but I think this will do. At least for now.